Patrick Hill is a divorced man, and a leader of a dangerous mafia group in England. One sudden day, Hill has a plan to spend some time with his son, Doggy. Doggy stayed with Hill's wife after the divorce. They plan to go watch a basketball game, after making a stop for a few snacks. Hill gets a call from his mafia member, Mike. Mike wants something to be done, and there's no one else around, and it's urgent. Hill rejects at first, because he is with his kid, and don't want any danger around. Mike explains, that the guy he sent had an accident. And there will be zero danger involved. Mike just wants to know the route of a cash truck, to plan their next heist. He'll just have to see the direction that truck takes. Five minutes job, it's easy. Hill believes Mike, and agrees, since there is no danger as told by Mike. Hill lies his son, saying they will stop for some takeaway burritos. Hill parks the car far from mission spot, gets out of the car alone, tells his son to stay put, locks the car, orders two burritos, waiting for the truck to show up. Mike is online. The truck gets out and turns right. Job is done for Hill. The truck gets to the stop where Hill's car is parked. Few construction worker stops the cash truck. One construction worker points the gun at the truck, another one with the help of backhoe loaders, stop the cash truck from moving back. The robbers cuts a hole in the truck, and throws a stun grenade. One of the worker is pointing a gun at Hill's son, yelling him to get out and lie down on the floor. The cash truck drivers are out. One of the cash truck driver tries to be a hero, and resists, gets shot at. Both drivers are killed at the spot. Hill is running toward his son to save him, because Hill's son saw one of the construction worker face named Jan. Jan shoots Hill's son, sees Hill running toward him and shoots down Hill too. Those workers takes all the cash from the truck, and leaves. Weeks later, we see Hill is alive in a hospital. But his son died at the spot. Hill's ex-wife is blaming Hill for their son's death, but Hill acts stone cold, doesn't react, doesn't talk. Later sometime, Hill meets with Agent King, who is high-level ranked in armed force, and in Hill's payroll. Agent King has no idea who are those guys, but hands Hill a list of suspects, Hill takes the list and leave. Hill's employee are scared, as what's going to happen with them. Hill the boss. Meet his employee. Hill trusts them all, and knows they had nothing to do with what happened. Mike and the team has already interrogated a lot of usual gang, and killed a lot of people in search for those construction workers. But couldn't find them. Hill gives them the list of suspects he got from Agent King, and tells them to get to work. Hill with his men, kill so much people. Burned so many people, but did not find those culprit. Mike is scared watching all this bloodshed. Tries to talk to Hill, hesitating, tells it's too much bloodshed going on, and if they continue with this approach, people are going to come after them, before they find those construction workers. And suggests they might need a different approach to find those culprits. Hill agrees, and says he will be going to London for a while. And tells Mike not to try and contact him for some time. In London, Hill makes up all new identities, different name, different backstory, passport, driver's license, and also a working experience certificate from a private security company, of 11 years. Which is going to help him get a job in the Fodico Securities Company, whose cash truck was stolen. Hill believes that someone working in that company, might have tipped those robbers about the timings, and internal details. So Hill gets the job in that company, to find out about the inside man, which will lead him to those killers. We meet Bullet, who is the senior in the company. Hill have to pass few of the physical tests before joining the company, as the security job can be dangerous, so the cash truck guys should be strong. Hill intentionally just passed, scoring 70%, so nobody gets suspicious about him. Intentionally underperforms in shooting, driving. Just to not be in a radar, 70% was the minimum score for the job. Next, Bullet introduces Hill to all the colleagues. Dave, one of the employees is a smartass, and doesn't seem to like Hill. Fortico Securities, the company Hill joined, Depot has a tight security system, each member gets a firearm while going for a mission of collecting and transferring cash. While returning back, the security at the gate must see all members' face, making sure everyone and everything is alright. And deposit the firearm after the job completion. Hill gets equipped, and partner up with Bullet and Dave for his first mission. They talk about the incident that occurred few months back, when their people were killed in robbery. Little did they know, who Hill actually is. Their first mission went smooth, no danger encountered. Hill's first day is over, one of the employee watching Hill, thinks Hill looks overqualified for their work, he must be hiding something. Bullet offers Hill to come with him for some beer and pool. Hill joins them later after secretly clicking pictures of all employees ID, 
to run a background check on all of them. On one of the mission, they had to make few stops. Bullet, Dave and Hill partnered up. They made a stop, Bullet went alone to bring the cash, Dave and Hill are at the truck, guarding $2 million. Bullet takes a lot of time to return, suddenly, some guy speaks from Bullet Walkie, and threatens to bring the truck around, or he will kill Bullet. Dave is scared, shivering, and wants to leave Bullet and flee. Hill is calm, and gives Dave two options, either Dave can get out of the truck or drive the truck and go save Bullet with him. Cause Hill is not leaving men behind. Dave drives in peer pressure, two trucks containing four robbers, Bullet is tied. Robber instructs to throw the bags of money out. Hill opens the back of the truck, shoots two robber in front of him, and one beside Bullet, last one left tries to flee. Scared. Hill aim is extraordinary, every one of them robber got a headshot. Hill follows the last one, Dave and Bullet are surprised at what's happening. Hill gets the last one, shoots his leg, asks about the last robbery, seems he doesn't know anything. So kills him too. Fortico boss is impressed with Hill. Next day at work, everyone is applauding for Hill, every member in Fortico is inspired, and looks up to him. Of course everyone is scared of him too. Next, we see the squad of retired marine soldier, bored of their retirement life. They went to war in Afghanistan, Iraq. Did so much for their country, and now they retired broke. All their life they were trained to kill and protect, so they know nothing else, and are all at a minimum wage part-time jobs. So, they planned and executed few heists, and they were the construction workers comb robbers, who killed Hill's son. Since there were no criminals on record, Hill and other police officials haven't catched them yet. Five months later the incident, they are still walking free. Squad is planning for their next mission. This time it's the biggest they ever hit. If this goes on well, neither they, nor their children will ever have to work. Every member in squad is excited to hear the plan. Ex-Sergeant Jackson, explains this time they are not hitting one cash truck, they are hitting all of them. Which means, they are going to rob depot itself. It's going to be Black Friday, which means there is going to be more than $150 million cash. They got 8 weeks for planning and preparation. The day has come, security is at their peak. Maximum security, with all the employee present. Cash trucks will be traveling different route, in, and out. Hill has still not found the inside man yet. Bullet and Hill are partnered up for the mission. While driving back to depot, Bullet confesses, he is the one who informed the robbers about the internal details. Hill is listening quietly, Bullet was the inside man. Hill knows now, but doesn't react fast. Bullet tells that Hill's gun is empty, and the robbers who are extremely armed and military precise, are following them. And if Hill cooperates, no harm will come upon him. And what's in it for Hill? Is his life. He will be spared to live, and see rest of his days. Bullet is warning Hill, but pleasantly. Hill agrees to do as told, because for starters his gun is empty. Bullet turns of the GPS in the truck, and lies on radio to base, that the truck had an issue and he is fixing it. Makes a stop someplace planned, where the robbers get in the back of the truck. Hill's hands are tied. Robbers are going to get in the depot, in this truck. As only the company trucks are allowed to get in the depot, or else the metal gate and depot are indestructible. Everything in the depot is going smooth, Bullet and Hill's truck reach the check post, security sees Hill and Bullet fine, so opens the gate. Robbers gets out the truck, moves in stealth mode, longer they are unalarmed, safer the heist is going to be. Hill is tied and taken as a hostage to the cash chamber. Everyone in the depot is still unaware, that they are being robbed. Three robbers get to cash chamber with Hill tied, lie Hill down, and ties his leg too, and starts loading up the bags. Everyone present, Dave and one other employee are scared. The robbers are wearing full body suit, heavily equipped. While three of the robbers are at the cash chamber, remaining all gets to the CCTV facility, the CCTV security area is made with transparent, bulletproof wall, the robbers scares the controller guy John to open the door, John presses the alarm, everyone is alert now. Few of the employee hiding, and few pointing at those robbers. The robbers are wearing full body armor, and his bullet is a hostage. Firing begins, a lot of security services guys gets killed, and only one of the robber is hit once, because they have full body suit, head to toe. Once the alarm goes on, SWAT team will take 8 minutes to reach. They can get past the police car, but won't be able to move SWAT trucks, so they got to move fast, and get out before they seal the exit. Robbers has loaded the bag, and two of them leaves the chamber, only one is guarding Hill and other two security guards. One of the guy in hiding, 
dares, and shoots at the robbers, the one in the chamber gets distracted by the noise, Hale uses the opportunity, drops the robber, and strangles him using his tied hands. Hill unties himself, wears the dead robber's body armor, gets out the chamber, and kills another one near the truck, and places his cell phone in one of the bags. The two security guards left who were hiding, starts shooting at robbers, Bullet is watching it all from the far, gets closer to those two guards, asks for a gun to help, and kills those guards. They sure did not see this coming. Same time Hill is fighting with one another robber, and kills with a knife. Hill is the only one left shooting at the robbers, resisting, and stopping them from getting in the truck and leave. Bullet from the back shoots at Hill. Hill is down, but still alive. Total of two robbers are left, Jackson, and Jan, also Bullet is in truck. Rams over the police car, and leaves the depot. Sergeant Jackson is shot at the neck, injured. Jan is driving, they take the truck to one of the building, locks the gate, and as per planned, a car is present at the basement, which is the exit plan. They might have five minutes before the SWAT breach in, and shoots to kill. Bullet and Jan takes out the back, load up in a cart, Bullet takes the cart and Jan comes to take Jackson. Jackson is not in good condition, still tries to kill Jan, Jan stops the gun, and kills Sergeant with a knife, Bullet has no idea what's going on. Bullet asks for Jackson, Jan says he is dead. They take the cart to the basement, load up the car, Jan opens the gate, Bullet tries to shoot Jan but too slow. Jan shoots first. Bullet is dead. Only man standing is Jan, with $180 million cash in the car, and no police after him. Jan goes to his safe house, bags full of money, goes to take a shower, relaxed and happy. Comes out to see, Hill is seating at the sofa with a gun in his hand, Jan is wearing a robe, weaponless. Hill with the help of his cell phone in one of the money bags, got the location of Jan's safe house. Hill recognizes Jan, as the killer who killed his son. Hill throws an autopsy report of Dougie to Jan, and tells him to read at a gunpoint. Dougie was shot twice at lungs. Once at liver. One at spleen. And twice at heart. Cause of death, blood loss and trauma. So, kills Jan the same manner, Hill shoots Jan at his liver, lungs, spleen, and heart. Agent King was waiting downstairs. Hill is done and leaves, so now the agents can do their work. Thanks for watching, and for more videos. Please subscribe and push the like button, if you liked the video. See you in the next. Bye bye.